Today I'm going to be doing a review on electric erasers. I'm going to show you the one I've been using for the last 15, 20 years and the new one I just got. We're going to take it out of the box and take a look at it. I'm going to compare the two. Then after that, I'm going to go over here to the board and I'm going to show you a little bit on how I use these particular erasers. So if that's something you're interested in, please stick around. Consider subscribing. Hit that bell so you get future notifications. A couple comments, good or bad, really helps out with the YouTube algorithm. Don't forget to check out all my Amazon affiliate links down below for the products I use in this video and all my other videos. Go check out that store tab on the channel. You can get some really cool products like the shirt I have on right here or these cups that I have right here. This one's really cool. There's a lot of different sayings over there. This one's lines, dots, and dagger strokes. A lot of cool merch on the store tab. So go check that out. Really appreciate it, guys. And with that, let's get started. All right. So a little bit about the erasers that I've been using for the last past 15, 20 years. I've been using this battery-operated Helix eraser. So the batteries lasted a pretty long time in them. But, you know, when the batteries win or if you're in the middle of a project, you have to have some batteries on hand because if it goes dead, you're going to need some batteries. The other thing with this eraser is it comes with one diameter. What I mean by that is, you know, the thickness or the diameter of an eraser. I like to use the aggressive erasers most of the times when I am doing illustration work. But this came with the white erasers and the gray erasers. The gray being the more aggressive of the two. So that was a nice feature. I also used this little, you know, it cost a few dollars. Again, it worked well. It's a battery operated uh, eraser, but it didn't have the power that something like the Helix did. So the Helix was my more of my go-to. The pros about this particular eraser is it did have a lot of power and the batteries did last for a pretty long time. But the negatives or the cons of it is it's not rechargeable. Which brings us to the new FMAT eraser that I just recently acquired. And upon opening it, I can see already that it's thinner than this particular eraser that I've been using. And that's what I was looking for, something that felt a little bit more, you know, easier going with the hand, a little bit more like a pencil or a pen. It's a little bit thicker than maybe what I was looking for, but it, after using it for a little bit, it's actually very comfortable in the hand. It is actually a lot more comfortable than using this Helix. So when you pick it up, in the natural position, your finger is right there on the button already. And as you can hear, it just runs very smoothly. It has lots of power, and I'm going to be demonstrating to you that in a minute. But the really cool part about this particular eraser is it's rechargeable, and it has two different size or diameter erasers that you can use. So upon looking at the erasers that come with the kit, they are the white erasers, so they're not the really aggressive erasers. But it comes with both sizes of erasers. It comes with the heavier erasers or the bigger diameter erasers and the very fine, as I'll call them, fine point erasers. So what it comes with is what comes with a couple of these plastic inserts, which is going to be what grabs the eraser. So it's as simple as pulling out that insert, putting in your new eraser, the plastic insert, and pushing it in and you're ready to go. They're easily adjustable for the height or how much eraser you want sticking out. It's as simple as that. All right, so the pros of this eraser are that it's rechargeable. Two, it fits good in the hand or feels good in the hand. Three, it has two different size erasers that it accepts. Now there is a con a small one, but it's still a con, is that the charging port is a micro USB. It's not that big of a deal because a micro USB is still readily available. The other thing is it does come with a micro USB. The charging cord is short, but it also, when reading through the literature, doesn't recommend that you plug it in, have it on charge while you're using the unit. So it needs to be charged while you're using it. All right, so before I finish up here, I want to take you over to the board and I'm going to show you a couple tips on how I use these erasers. All right, so I laid down some illustration black here for this demonstration. So the first tip I'm going to give you, if you look at this eraser, it's getting kind of rounded off as you erase. Now, you're going to need an X-Acto blade for this, but I'm going to show you 
before I cut the eraser with the X-Acto blade, you can get a pretty thin line. Now you may want a thicker line for texturing. Okay. If I want a thin line, I want to use the edge of my eraser. And I don't have a lot of control with it that way, and it's not all that thin. So what I like to do is, I take the eraser, okay, I take my X-Acto blade, and I turn my eraser on. And I just cut right through it, and I square it off. So now I have a nice edge in which to, see that nice fine line I got right there? So I want to use just the edge. Now that will delve down in a little bit and then you got to square it back off. But if you want a super sharp line, again, you just want to take that X-Acto blade, be careful, and square it off. I think it needs to be charged a little bit, but you lean that, lay it over, and you can get some really like hair-like lines with it. So that's the first one. Second one is we're going to try this really thin eraser because that was the trick I always had to use before I had an eraser like this. Okay. Now, this one here is still going to round off eventually. But this one's going to be a lot easier to deal with even when I do got to square it off. I'm going to actually round it on purpose here. Okay, I want to round that up on purpose. Because when I go to square that off, first of all, it's a lot easier to square it off. Second of all, now I'm right down into that point again. And that's just a lot easier to see what you're doing and, you know, control where you want to be erasing. So I really do like this feature of this particular uh, eraser. All right, there you have it. So if you have a need for an electric eraser, I really do like this AFMAT electric eraser. I've been using it for a few months now, and I really do like it. I think the biggest pro about it is being able to have the choice of the size of eraser that you want on it, and the rechargeable part of it is really nice as well. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, you guys know the drill. Consider subscribing. Hit those links. Check out that store. We're growing, and it's all because of you guys, and I really appreciate it. And with that, we'll see you in the next video.